All right. So, Ignatius487 here, which is sort of an arbitrary point, I guess. We're going to be playing some Dungeons and Dragons. This is audio. Yeah. We're not going to be doing any video recording Yet. because Yet. I don't have the proper equipment to do that. I'm also talking, the yep. mic is on the other side of the DM screen, I don't know how well, or it should be we'll fine. We'll see, we'll see what happens. It should be fine. I'm here with... Uh. Corey. And Eli. Mark Corey, yep. And Eli. But and Eli is Ejul and yes. Lilith. Yes, hold on. Introduce Whoa. your characters and what they do. This is the rogue campaign. So, Ejul Oofman, he, he's a rogue, he's a dwarf. Um, he's chaotic neutral. He's a tank, but he's a rogue. Um, Background? Yeah, so his parents were master craftsmen uh, from this mountain place, and he just didn't like this life, and he didn't want to be a master craftsman. He needed to learn something, but he didn't do everything. So they were going to give this knife. They made a dagger for the Shadow Dancers. Mm -hmm. uh, they actually made a few of them. They made these daggers for the Shadow Dancers. They were some special things. Shadow, um, uh, sorry. Shadow Dancers, for those of you who don't know, are the assassins of my world, which we'll get into uh, in a little bit. So, yeah. He kind of doesn't really stick around for the whole ceremony. He gets one. He, uh, was it? He, but before the ceremony even happened, he takes one. Or maybe it was after. Anyway. Anyway, he steals a dagger. He has this nice dagger, but he puts it away. He grows up in the city. That's his dwarf asshole. But, uh, this girl, Lilith, who, she's a tiefling that, mm -hmm. uh, her, she thinks her dad's one of these shadow dancers. She's not totally sure. But she's pretty sure. She's uh, she's with Ejul, Tiefling Rogue, and a Dwarven Rogue. We got here. And that's it. I mean, that's that's the just outline story. Cool, cool, <laughs> fantastic. And we got all right, Shadow. All right. And uh, yeah, and over here, I'm I'm gonna be playing the, the Rogue that here. Gerald made for us. Yes. Being Shadow. Who is a human rogue who is going to be one of our sharpshooters? She has, actually has that feat. By the way, yeah. guys, for those of you who we are playing 5.0. Was it female or male? Male. Male. Shadow, male. Male. Uh, or rather, sharpshooter means that <clears throat> you don't take disadvantage on your rolls when you're shooting beyond the range of whatever range weapon you're using, and you ignore half and three quarters cover. Shadow was uh, captured by orcs, or goblins, I forget what language he speaks. Uh, it might be goblin. Orc. Orc. He was captured by orcs and his tongue was removed. So he cannot speak any language other than what they call the thieves can't, which is the sort of secret hidden language of thieves. Uh, so he's pretty much the strong silent type. He's, he's the silent language. He's also a master pickpocket and lock lock picker myth guy. Anyway, uh, he has uh, magical gloves that assist him in that, which give him a total bonus to his pickpocket and lock picking of plus 10, which is crazy at level 1. Regardless. Uh, Kane now, I guess? Yep. Kane. And the other character we'll be playing uh, is named Kane. Is it, oh, it's a human rogue, and he's more your skill monkey... So I'm trying to be as dexterous as possible. Is dual wielding two rapiers, has the dual wielding feat that allows him to gain an additional bonus to his armor class, as as well as a few other uh, nice little things. So uh, his goal at higher level is to be as stealthy as possible, being that like his major skill. And more or less, wants to never be found unless he wants to. <clears throat> Indeed. Okay. That being said, I I am the dungeon master, of course. Um. You find yourselves in the Thieves Guild Hall. Now, for those of you who obviously this is the first recording. Um, the world of Arton, which is where they're playing. That's gonna be a problem. Uh, 
we just play the game tonight. We don't have to talk about the story. No, like, yeah. just, oh, wait, where are we at? Just some basic stuff, okay. Yes. The government system is, is a guild system, so like, the guild is, is a primary government system, and it's made up of the smaller guilds, which include thieves guilds, and some other, like, pretty much every type of, like, like adventuring guilds, and smithies, and makers, and, <laughs> yeah, all that jazz. The people? Things? The University of, of Magi. Dude, there are some gnomes here, they're awesome. There's some gnomes, there's <laughs> technology, it's pretty cool. Anyway, point is... Uh, none of that will probably come into play just now. Yet. But they find themselves in the Thieves' Guild. Doing whatever it is. Uh, practicing, sleeping, stand, drinking, whatever. Um, oh. It is a secret guild. Um, in that the building that it's located in is not... The Thieves' uh, Guild. <laughs> it's not like op openly labeled as the Thieves' Guild. Was but it a bar? most most people know that it is. It's a bar. It's not a bar. No. Oh. It's an actual guild hall with yeah. like training dummies and. Uh, What's the sweet basement at the bar? Whatever. Where's our yeah. at? Right hmm? here. Pick 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 out your yo's. My yo. Just for yo. the sake of, of this. Now, the person uh, because you guys are level one, you're entry level rogues, and you. You sort of actually like this is this might even be your first day in the guild hall. We'll say that it is. Mm -hmm. for, for, uh, and you are approached by a uh, small. He's, he's human, but he's he's short for a human. He's actually a little bit taller than than dwarves than a dwarf. He's like five foot. Yeah, really short. Um. And he has a sort of ratty, he seems rat-like in his movement. And his name is Wretchedai. He sort of introduces himself. Wretchedai? Voice. I don't want to do the voice. He's as well. Shit. Shit. Uh, Wretchedai. Yeah, so he's got a deep gravelly voice. Just describe yeah. it. Describe it. He has a deep gravelly voice. I say that. What is it? Yeah. Uh, he says <clears throat> that until you've proven yourself, you work for him. Okay. He's an asshole, but whatever. So, <laughs> you don't get to see the guild leader. No, nah, he's hiding. He's long gone. He's on a mission. He's he's getting higher up. Yo, things are too important for you. Acquiring for you to, to deal yeah. with, to discuss, to talk to at all. Like It'd be a threat busy. if we walked into their room. They're too busy. <laughs> no talking to you. You have things that you need to do now. They have heard. They have received word, and this is what you're going to go do. That. A shipment of valuable stuff. It's art and like gems and necklaces, stuff like that, right? Jewelry ish. Yes. A shipment of gems, that gold, is in the process of being moved. There's a platinum coin in there. Or two. And. <laughs> Uh, the, the trouble is, you don't exactly, they don't exactly know where or when. What they do know is that in a tavern, soon there will be a meeting to discuss it and possible uh, exchange of Pencil? writing utensils. I don't have any more. I, I'll grab them. I have, I have mine. Yeah, I got one. So you're, what you have to do, oh, <laughs> right, um, the guild, the Thieves Guild, nice, yeah, Thieves Guild gets 20% of whatever you bring in. Obviously, the more you bring in, 
the more you get. There are very specific rules of Thieves Guild. The first is that you do not steal from other thieves. Take from the man. You right, <laughs> I guess. Oh yeah, I guess. Second well, is there is thieves. no killing. Right. There is no killing. Registered thieves. They you don't, disappear. Yeah. No killing. Which is actually really handy in 5.0 because you could just do non lethal damage whenever. You don't even get disadvantage. It's Ow. pretty handy, which I guess makes sense in a yeah. way. Because you could throw a dagger such that you hit him with the pummel rather than the blade, I guess. Especially if you're any good at throwing daggers. Point is, no kill. Now, you have one hour before this meeting is going to take place. What do you do? Okay, so we don't know where. Take no, place. you know where the like he he tells you which tavern it is, and that you have an hour to prepare for it. Okay, do we know our mark yet at all? Uh. Or is this the, like, do we need to go down here and no. case the place? You, you need to case the place. All right. You don't really know. Uh, now, the interesting thing is that it is actually a pretty, like, you know the tavern to be a pretty seedy place. It's the, uh, uh, what am I going to call this tavern? The Screaming Rhino. The Screaming Rhino. The Screaming Rhino Tavern. That's, for, that, that's right. Which, screaming Rhino. Which I've used before. Yeah, I think I remember it. Anyway. It's not as nice as, 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 as the sexy badger. <laughs> not the as fuck nice as a sexy badger. Sexy badger tavern. It's a tavern. Not gonna ask. It's a tavern. Uh, <laughs> I already did. It's a chain of taverns, by the way. There's one in pretty much every town. Oh, really? Um, what a coincidence. They actually feed. Anyway, we are at the Rhino. What? Hold up. I'm just explaining this yeah. for, for future things. They feed information to the Shadow Dancer, the like elite assassin group. There's this nice little convenient place to speak. Easy. Yeah, dude. Okay. Right. Now you have an hour. What are you going to do? I, do you, an hour? Do you have We're anything at the that you want to prepare first? So Make sure what, you have all your equipment in line. What does Ejil have to drink? Like, what do they come with? What do they have? You got a. It should all be written in there. Yeah. Assuming you filled it out. I didn't fill out everything. Uh, first time books right here. Anyway. <coughs> Brother um, man. We need some. I need some potions. How much money do you have? I don't remember. They do not give you any money. Yeah. Like they're not going to give you money to, to buy not. equipment. Yeah, I know. So. Like you have access to like daggers certain uh, quantities of rope and things like we're that. We're in this, uh, we're already yes. here. Where are we at? So we have, for those of you that can't see, which is everyone listening, we have a uh, map of the tavern, which is Sorry. by the docks in Sartak City. This is, uh, we're, we're starting in Sartak City, which is the largest city on the central continent of Pydaren in my world that I created with a uh, lots of help actually uh, regardless this is the capital city of the <laughs> dang it <laughs> of the guild Power flash. anyway the capital of the guild this the is big where, dogs this are is here the main guild hall in is. the city but yeah, it's buddy. also a city um, anyway sea tavern screaming rhino Docks, water, etc. What are you doing? Yeah, finding the letter. In case of candle needing? Yes. Reasonable. Hopefully. We're set, but continue, I can hear you. Yeah, okay. So you don't do any pre any preparation, I guess. And that's fine, because you have pretty decent loot. Well, I mean, already. am I ready? Set up. Like, do I need to go buy something? I don't need I don't, anything. I, I don't think you do, unless yeah. you have gold to buy potions. But again, I don't. Yeah. I don't. If if you do your job right, you shouldn't need potions. Yeah. We, we don't need a 
I was about assuming, to, assuming I was trying to think of that. I mean, roll. I'm not gonna attack <clears throat> anyone. I can't do that. It's not gonna work. Well, you to. can just do subdual damage. Well, it's I just, just need to sneak up behind him and choke him out. Right. Or so him in the back of the head. Yes, 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 yes. With a fist. Um, double checked it. Uh, you are incorrect about being a plus ten. It's a plus twelve. Still because, badass. Yeah, because um, Rogi, the expertise. Yeah, the two skill per expertise. I'm assuming that's what these little X's are, on stealth and sleight of hand. Yeah. So those both go to well, that puts your stealth at a seven, and with a plus yeah, five. Yeah, buddy. Plus twelve to pick pockets. That's that's handy. <laughs> did you did you get uh, Gimli? Yeah. This is the door. That's yes, Gimli oh, and um, Aragorn. 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 Aragorn is the dragon from Aragorn. <laughs> okay. No, no, sorry. Aragorn's the, the the kid who gets the egg. The anyway. Close not enough. Not important. Not important. Yeah. So that, the door. That is the entrance. I'm going yeah. to walk into the bar. How to walk past person number yo? Okay. Six. Big guy. Anyway, Here, it's uh. Put this behind it's, the bar. That's the barkeep. Okay. He's not a big fat guy. I don't care. I'm putting it on number twelve. Like 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 the D twelve would appear, but but the twelve uh, he, is sitting right there. Anyway, he's actually kind of a wiry looking. He, he looks like a fellow rogue, but you don't. Know I will turn it up to right. eleven. Whatever. Because that's what I am. All right. Probably would, whatever. Probably would be best to not all enter at once. What? Well, yeah, I didn't. I didn't put you in. The right. The dwarf. So. Eagle. No, no, no. Okay. Anyway, so, sorry. Um, Go ahead. You have an hour. What is if, yeah. if you're not going in at the same time? Mm. How are you staggering well, it? What's the time frame? What is? All right. So. I'm just curious. Well, we already went to the. We talked to the thieves, right? One of the. Uh, yes. And he gave you your mission, and then he just went to do other stuff. Like. Where's that at? Totally ignored you. Yeah. Said so get the shipment and yeah. where's the shipment at? What, did, he, did he say anything about that? No. He no. The like meeting is happening okay. at the you're time. You're here. Okay. Got it. To Set case up. the joint to find out where the shipment is going, and then you're going to go there and then get the shipment. All right. Loot sauce. So, uh, Ejul, gonna walk straight in. Yeah. To here. Cool. Sit at the bar. Yep, like straight in the middle, right in front of the candle. All right. Anyway, on my walk in, I want to like look around. Who's in here? Observe right. the room. So, where is this? Give me the, perception, uh, brother man. Perception. Yeah. Perception. And what? Perceptual. Uh, uh, perception is wisdom, I believe. Wisdom. It is. All right. So that's. Is that a plus two? Yep. Yeah, if you get your little... As a one on the wisdom, and our you... perception is proficient. Okay, so then that would be total plus three. Oh, plus three. Because you add them together. Okay. Your proficiency bonus is two. Okay. I level one. And what do I roll? A ten? Twelve. Or a d20. A d20. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, d20. D20. Well, d20 plus three. Plus three, yes. Where's this guy at? Oh, damn. Five. Five. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> eight. Well, eight's not bad, because you're just looking around hey, right that's, now. Hey, that's my birthday. Anyway, so Archery. so yeah, um, around the, the the pub you have uh, mostly just like common fisher type patrons. Bunch of fishermen here. You're at a dockside tavern. Um, the, the guy that's sitting right next to the water hole right there looks different. He is dressed. Well, no, this the, guy? no, the black dice. Oh, the the one that doesn't look the same. The black one, Gerald. Yes, the black dice. <laughs> He's looking it's, good over here. Uh, you got this table. It's right by the door. <laughs> he's waiting for some dinner. Yes, I'm just saying, like he's right he there by the door. He is dressed better well. than the rest. Yeah, he's wearing armor. Oh, like dressed better than the rest, ready to roll. Yeah, he um, has a sword. All right, he is. He looks a little bit like. A guard, but so he's he's like uniformed ish. But yeah, he's ready yeah. to roll. Yeah. All right. But he's just there enjoying uh, a beer and waiting. Well, tap like sort of tapping his he, uh, his, his gauntlet, his gauntleted fingers. He grunts and 
ask him for, ask the bar for, uh, what, hold on, says, what is the drink most you have? What is the drink? Most you have. Like, what, what, what are you guys drinking here? What do you have? Oh, oh. Is it, you got beer on tap, or do you have yes. some rum sitting in some barrels? We have... Is there whiskey in here? There is. Oh. The whiskey is a little pricey. Of course it is, damn it. You have some beer? What is it, mead? Yes, we have mead. Oh, uh, mead. Well, man, I believe mead. this is from honey. Well, yeah, that's right. If but, I'm not mistaken. Uh, can I have some mead? How much is it? Ah. Uh, nope. What? asking. Well, give me a second. <laughs> Dang I'm it. sorry. It's two copper. Two copper? Yes. Alright. Well, can I have a meet? We're so impatient for a... What are you? You're a dwarf. Yeah. Never mind. We're <laughs> <laughs> so impatient for a human, which you're not, but you're a dwarf, so this is about right. Right. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so in the meantime, Lilith walked in. Okay. And she does a check. On cool beans. She, she just looks in the room right then. Cool beans. Who's that? In wisdom with perception. Nope. Anyway, I want to use her little ability. The lights flicker a little bit, and then she walks in. Everyone noticed her walking. Did you roll a perception? Oh, I'll see. All right, I'll roll perception. Well, so, I mean, if you're going to do a perception, you need to roll perception. Yeah, it's, it's a 10. That's plus nothing. Right. Plus with wisdom. Is she proficient? No. Oh. No, she can't, she's not the most observant girl. But looks like uh, it's persuasion. Not yeah, no, she's very persuasive when she's talking to somebody. Fair enough. Cool, cool. No, uh, yeah, you get plus zero, but you can roll it, and you might do better than your five yeah. that you rolled earlier. Five. No. What is <laughs> happening? That dice is being mean to you. Yes. <laughs> so it's like I rolled four straight sixteens earlier when I was. So she walks in. Yeah. So what you. What does she think? What's her She notices the exact same. Thing. He's like, alright, this not, guy's over here. He's not in the crowd. Like, no, like, you can tell that that dude's different. Yeah. Because he's actually wearing armor and stuff. Well. But beyond that, you, you don't notice anything uh, pertinent. Well, she walks to this seat and just sits down very quietly. Makes no, the lights flicker. Sits so down like, like they, with him. It, it seems like a breeze kind of went sits through. Sits with him at that table. Yeah, this is on right here. Wow. Okay. He's right here. No, that's... I'm just... Okay. She just kind of walks in and she's like, there's all these people, but there's this guy. So... And Lilith, says, hello. Lilith, but I'm going to make a persuasion check to see how kindly I say hello. Okay, just hang on a second. So Lilith... Yeah. The, the tiefling rogue... Oh, yes. Lilith. Uh, moves... He, like, walks into the bar, surveys it a little bit, and sits right in front of... The, the guy's the, armor. The, of, the of, only of, person of, who looks of, different. Of the armored guy. The only guy that's visibly different. Because all these other guys kind of look sailor ish yeah and then yeah this dude now go ahead and roll it and then we'll end it when we'll my end, turn we'll end this recording oh yeah because we're at about 24 minutes 13 i think that's about as long as i want these to go persuasion is a proficient and what is that with so it's two plus charisma modifier that's a plus three so that's plus five 18 is fantastic nice i say hey i don't in man. the next video or audio rather <laughs> uh we will see what happens with that so yeah see All you guys right. next time